All right, it's the first alert weather day. Not only is the heat back in the Bay Area, but a spare the air alert has been called because of the smog. And we can kind of see it behind you, Zoe. It's difficult for people with sensitive health conditions. Yeah, definitely going to be one of those days that people with asthma, maybe if you're a little bit older and have trouble breathing, you probably want to grab a mask and just put it on for safety because you don't want to be coughing up and choking this afternoon along with the heat that's going to be in play as this huge dome of high pressure continues to control the entirety of the West Coast. Every area that I'm standing in that doesn't have clouds and you can kind of see the circle around me. That's how big and how influential this heat dome is and the reason that we have been seeing widespread record breaking high temperatures all across the West and we'll continue to see that through the rest of this week. If we do take a look at what we're going to be seeing all across the West Coast of the United States. It's the heat again. Just look at these high temperatures. Pretty crazy with widespread triple digits all across California down into Arizona up into Nevada as we are looking at these widespread excessive heat warnings, heat advisories, excessive heat watches that remain in effect all week long and into next week as well. That's just something to Keep in mind every card of California basically besides the mountains has that excessive heat warning in effect with well above average temperatures near to record breaking as well. Again, it's not just us. It's the entire state of California basically other than far north, but you might notice why isn't the Bay Area under an excessive heat warning? Well, it's a little bit misleading this graphic. So the areas in pink have that highest risk for heat related illness when it comes to temperatures in the upper 90s to triple digits. But our inland locations do still have something in effect. They do still have that heat advisory with temperatures in the upper 90s, but maybe not reaching the triple digits. The biggest issue, especially for our Bay Areas, are the people that don't have air conditioning. So you're going to want to keep those fans on high. And what I actually did, because I also don't have air air conditioning in San Francisco, but San Francisco isn't going to be nearly as hot. We are no longer in that heat advisory, but maybe try putting a bucket of ice in front of your fan and kind of act like it's a little air conditioner for you. I did it a couple days ago and it actually did help just a little bit. So that's something to keep your eye on. We are going to be seeing the heat continuing, not just for us, but all across the Bay Area. San Francisco, though, if you want to escape the heat, come on over and enjoy some more comfortable temperatures because if you live in the North Bay, high temperatures are jumping about 20 degrees today compared to yesterday. Yesterday you were in the 70s, today 90s all across the locations. We're going to continue to See that heat building into our inland areas 104 in Concord 103 in Antioch. This is dangerous heat triple digit temperatures this time of year. We're not used to it. Like I said, it might not be record breaking, but it is still very influential and it is going to be one of those days that you want to stay inside. Take breaks in the shade, head on over to those cooling centers or head on over the coast. Half Moon Bay high temperatures today only in the mid 60s. So again, it really depends where you are, but our inland locations are where all of our eyes are going to be our biggest concern with triple digit temperatures today, tomorrow, all the way through Friday, but about a 10 degree temperature drop by Saturday and into Sunday. The clouds return that marine layer arrives, so we do see an end in sight to this heat wave, but you do need to practice heat safety through the rest of the week.